So the next thing I want to do for the content management system is get the uh, best way to describe it is the my crud into the, the site where the users can log in and manage their own profile, which is only going to be an update page, and then they will be to, able to add, edit, and delete the pets that they can um, uh, for the shelter. So that's all the stuff that goes into the my category. And the only thing I've got in there right now is the index that just shows you know, welcome to the home page for your particular account. And I need my bindings and server behaviors. Because this one is in the my area, I'm going to need to create a user authentication and restrict access. And only users and admins should be allowed in here. The public should not be allowed. If denied, send them out to login. Now, since this is a this is a, a specific user, when I log in as not as an admin, but as a regular type of person who's supposed to be works at the shelter, basically at the pet shelter, and is supposed to add new pets to this. Um, I want to be able to. This is going to be the hub page where they can add new pets edit and delete the existing ones. Um, but first I'm going to create a record set in a simple view that's going to grab the user's information. Excuse me, users. I'm going to grab their first and last name and their uh, the date. I'll put user since up there. I do need to filter this. I need their email to be equal to the session variable called mm underscore username. This is predefined by Dreamweaver. That's just the name of the session that it creates. And when it does the login, it's going to save the primary key of the user's database, which in this case is the email, to the session called mm username. And this, will, this is a primary key, so I don't need to do any sorting. And so instead of users, I can say welcome first name, space, last name, user, since, date created. And I can see if this works. If I hit F12, it should send me back to the login page. And, wait a minute, I may not have a, I don't think I have a login for this. <coughs> oh, I can choose any one of these. Here's my user one. This Sally Smith. I think it was just one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me see if I did that right. Actually, I'll do this. I'll just change mine into a uh, user. So I'm still Bob, but it lets me know when I was a user since, and now I'm logged in as just mine. What I'll be able to do from here is I need to create a second record set, one that's going to um, grab all of the pets that I have created, because I shouldn't be allowed to, to mess with other people's um, stuff. So RS pets, table pets, where I'll just grab everything, where the author is equal to the exact same thing, the session variable of mm underscore username. I probably don't need everything here. I can probably get away with name, author, species, and yeah, that should be fine. Oh, and I will need their ID number. Always need the ID number. We can add a new pet, and then I can drop in a table where I can actually put in and list all of the pets. And 
two rows and I think four columns. Put a header across the top. Okay. So we will have pet name and the species, and then we can edit that guy, and then we can delete them. Uh, we'll turn those into links to the add, edit, and delete pages. So my hub, it doesn't have anything in it, but it, the structure is there, and now I need to make the, the functionality for it. So let's start with adding a new pet. Um, under This is all under the My section. So I will take this page and duplicate it so I don't have to do quite as much work and call it My just doing dashes, right? My pet dash add. You know what? I'll just do a pet add. It doesn't have to be my. Actually, the reason I might want to call this my pet add is in case I ever screw up and move this into my admin section, if they were named the same thing, I could overwrite a file and lose all the other work. If they're named something different, not only are they grouped together a little bit better, but then I might prevent that from happening. Um, okay, so add a new pet is going to link over to this page. And this page, I can get rid of all of this because I don't really care about that. I also, when you add one, you do not need a record set of pets from the database. So I can actually cut that out. I will need this because, let me make sure this is working right, session start, good. Um, I will need this because I will need to record the user, uh, the email address of the person who's creating this as a hidden field. So let's do this the easy way. Under data, I can go and insert record wizard. I'm going to add a new pet, and after inserting, I'm going to send them back to the my index. I don't need the ID, but I do need the name, the weight, age, needs is a text area, descriptions a text area. I might want to move this so that the description comes before the needs. Fixed, and is going to be a checkbox. Author is going to be a nice little hidden field, and its default value I'm going to go grab from the record set that's on the page that, that's pulling from the session variable. Date created, I do not need. Oh, did I get rid of ID? I did. Okay. Shots will be a checkbox. And a rating, that's supposed to be a drop down menu, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I remember doing that from the other one, and I'm going to completely cheat on this. I'm going to make it a menu, and I'm not going to pop in the properties, because what I can do is go back to the admin area and steal that code. So under admin, I can do pet add. Why does this have echo selected? It shouldn't have that in the add. It doesn't really matter. It'll never run. There shouldn't actually be any PHP code in that for the add one. There should be some for the edit. Pull from the wrong one. Hmm. I'm not sure why that the add one has this. Um, Echo selected, so it should not be in there. That's for older versions of HTML. Get rid of that. I'm glad I found that mistake.
And in fact, I will fix that in the add one. My pet add. Okay, file save all. Get rid of the admin ones. So this should work, I hope. Um, I'm not going to worry about any of these things for right now. Oh, wait, was species done a little different? Did we have a list of those? I don't remember. Users. We did. All right, well, for whatever reason it's doing selected stuff, we'll leave it in there. So this is actually perfectly legal. I can take this input that was here as a text field, just delete it and replace it with this, as long as the name of it is the same. The computer doesn't care what the form input actually is. A, a radio button, as long as it's got the same number, the same ID as, or the same name as the text area that you replace it with, the post still will take all of that information. Alright, so we leave Chinchilla down there, and let's see what happens now. If I add a new pet, um, how many do we have? I have Sparky the turtle, so we can have, um, uh, who should we have? What's, wasn't there a new snail movie, Turbo the Snail? Oh, we didn't, we didn't make snails. He's one, whatever we want to say. He's a thousand years old. The fastest snail ever. He needs... What do snails eat? Plankton. He needs plankton, sure. <laughs> uh, we fixed that snail. <laughs> and... What's that? Closest thing I've got, I forgot to put one. He's a turtle. Whatever. <laughs> He's had his shots. Turbo the turbo the turtle makes is pretty cool. Uh, we'll make him. He's a four point five, and it didn't work. So now I get to figure out why. Insert record. Uh, let me check the database and see if it what happened. Turbo the turtle, he got put in the database. It was me. They didn't show up. Any ideas why? I actually do know why now. Right. This is only showing one record from the database. It's not repeating yet. So back on my index page, I can take this table row. Make sure you got the table row. Bindings, repeat. Uh, no, server behaviors, repeat region. I, I would probably say just repeat all of them, um, all of the pets. And at this point, I might also say it's a good idea to change the d the order on them. Change it to date created descending. That will put the most recently one, most recent ones up at the top. And in this kind of instance, it might that might be useful. You're, the ones that are older are more likely to have been adopted or other bad things might have happened to them. So they can go in the pad, they can go down at the bottom of the list. I know the pagination stuff if I wanted to, but I'm not too concerned about that right now. There we go. Now I need to be able to edit Turbo and Sparky the Turtles. So this one's going to take me to my pet edit.php. I have to, I'll create that in a second, but I have to add parameters. I have to send the ID of the little critter, and it's just going to be his pet ID. I know that was really fast, but you guys have done that a couple of times now. Um, I can do the exact same thing here. I can just actually just copy and paste this code, and the only thing I'll need to change is that the second one goes to the delete page and should say delete. There we go. 
and each one goes to their own, if you look down here, you see the ID that's after it. Good. So now I will take the, close everything out real quick. Not admin. Not admin. Close up admin. There we go. My pet add, I'll duplicate it, make it my pet. Edit, and it's a little bit easier. Um, get rid of the insert form. I can actually leave this. I can edit a particular one. In uh, if you build this from scratch, there's always the possibility that you make the form slightly different on the two different pages. And if you can just pull the edit one over or the add one over get rid of the add functionality and just and just make it an update but in order to do that I need to add a record set that goes and grabs the correct one out of the one we're working on so rs pet edit grab the current pet look about filter id equals url parameter id does that make sense still okay if you're following along with that you're I'm proud of you so at the beginning of the semester, that would you would have looked at me like what? Um, and then I can do update record pets and oh wait a minute before I do that I should populate this. Um, I need the name, the weight, the age. Blah. The age needs the description. Don't get those reversed. This one I can make it dynamic. Check if fixed is equal to one. Do the same thing with shots. Check if shots is equal to one. Um, pet species dynamic. If it's set at value equal to whatever the same as species is, it'll actually just go through and find all of them and figure out. It's a little PHP command. Same thing with pet rating. Go grab the stupid rating. There we go. This is what the update does in a heartbeat. So this pulls it out of the database, puts the same information in here. And actually, I should say this update pet. And then when it does the update command, if you don't change the name of the pet, that still gets sent to the database in the update command. Um, and it does update, and I do that in air quotes because it gets updated with the same thing that was there. But that's pretty important when you update, send it all. Um, and now I can actually run or add the actual command that does the updating. I have to it's updating the pets. Oh, it's not going to like this because I'm going to need a hidden key or a hidden form that's going to be pet underscore ID and it's going to go grab the pet's ID number. You do need that so that is that a bad thing to have like memorized to do just on default? Like if it's something that doesn't necessarily need that? Is it still just something that's good practice to keep doing? Well, when you update, if you don't designate a primary key, it'll try and find everything in the database that matches that criteria. So I've seen updates that could destroy your database before, or, or deletes will do that too. So yeah, always make sure you've got an ID somewhere. Um, and in fact, in, wait a minute, I might not need it. I might have done that wrong. Let me do one thing. Let me do this with, without the ID. When I update this, it's every. It just goes through and finds everything that was on the field. Name, weight, age goes to age. Needs goes to needs. Date created does not get a value. Rating as double. After you're done, go back to index. Okay. It does need a primary key. So 
So update record pets. As long as everything matches up, I can say that's the primary key. The rest of them worked. Send them back to index. Let's see if any of that worked. He's gained a pound because he's a year older. Now he's the second fastest snail ever. We found out he's actually a dog, which means he's not quite as cool as he used to be. <laughs> so it looks like it worked. Um, <laughs> uh, what I also what I'll normally do with this is I you know you play with all this dummy data just to get the thing working and see if you can get all the, the pages to do what they're supposed to use. I wipe all this stuff out um, before it goes live. Uh, except for the times when you forget to wipe it all out and suddenly there's Sparky the Wonder Dog in your data. Um, uh, so I'll do the delete now. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I could put a, the cancel in there as well, couldn't I? There we go. A little bit more professional looking. Edit. Edit turb. O. And if you ever want to, you just click cancel. Yeah. Uh, I need to put a... Action is going to pets.php. Let's take it back to index.php. That makes much more sense. There we go. That works. I should be able to do this one. Good. All right, time for deleting. Uh, that's always the two-part process. The first page is always, are you sure you want to delete this one? Um, My pet delete delete will delete some pet. I'm gonna get rid of all this. Um, shoot, I will need the snippets again, won't I? If they don't like it, they can go back to index. Um, if they do like it, we will have a nice little delete button. And I want a hidden field in here, which is going to be, so we'll call it ID for now. So what's going to happen is this delete page will receive an ID through the get. So I need to have a record set that's going to grab the get and populate this with some info. Yeah. Um, and the great thing is I already did that in edit. So I will copy that one completely. And in all honesty, I don't need user in this particular page. Um, yeah, I can deal. I can get away with not. I'm gonna leave it there because I may <laughs> I may be wrong on that. But uh, basically, all I need out of here is the the pet ID to go in here. Now, when we submit this form, it'll go to the actual delete page, and it's gonna listen in the post for whatever the ID of the critter it's supposed to delete. And I'm going to make that link to delete2, which is, this is nice because it doesn't have to be a real page. This can just be a blank PHP page. Um, I do recommend that you even for these that you do still put the user authentication on it restrict access to page that you have to be an admin or a user send them out to the login if they don't like that if they can't log in um, because then anyone who's not logged in could actually just type in this address and could get to it um, so now what I need to do is I want to delete a record first check if the primary key 
if the form variable I called it ID and we're deleting from the pets primary key is pet ID it's numeric form variable pet ID after deleting go back to my index maybe this will work if I want to delete turbo so he's just not having a good time I delete him nothing's happening because I forgot to set the action on this form oh it set it to itself let's check it set it to the right page cancel delete delete it's getting stuck on delete too I had this problem last time, didn't I? Uh, what did I do wrong? Require once if it's sesh, the sesh, start the session. This is all the restrict access code, and then this is here we go. Switch case stuff if pet is set and it doesn't equal nothing no pet it's not pet ID it's pet ID I must have typed something in wrong in the delete record. I must have had one of these as pet ID when it needed to be just ID. So I just set it back the way it was. I want to leave this one because this is the actual SQL command. Delete from pets where the column pet ID equals post ID. It's supposed to be an integer. And the other thing I would actually say you should do on this uh, no I'm gonna leave that I'm not gonna, that's too much security for now um, let me go back and see what happens okay never actually deleted it so let's try it again haha -ha, success did it um, so that's I know that was really fast but it, al it also is probably starting to look very very familiar to you um, I find that I usually have to screw this up two or three times before I get it right, and I've just screwed it up enough times that I, I know where the major mistakes usually are. Um, then that's almost everything for the site, isn't it? Yeah, the index goes through and finds it, and you can click on a pet and go see it. Yeah, there you go. There's your content management system. What questions you got? What's that? Next week? I'm going to make it the week after, the 25th. Save a little bit more time. Oh, I guess the thing that I haven't done is made any design on this whatsoever. But yeah, get the skeleton working first. Just do it in plain ease. Don't worry about CSS in the slightest. Yeah, this is flat design, right? Uh, yeah, it's, it's flat design. That's exactly right. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the next thing I do is worry about design. Um, in fact, I will tell clients they're always wanting to know fonts and the, what what goes on the home page and what colors are we going to use. I don't care. We don't care. We won't, we won't deal with that for another three months. We have to get the functionality working. I guess if you're building a car, you want about the engine first. Then body panels come next. CSS is body panels. PHP is engine. Um, okay.